Hey guys, today we're taking a look at the Golf Club Collector Edition. Now, this game did release as a standard edition last year with many features uh, missing, and uh, it's released again this year on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and I believe PC as well. And it has those features implemented that were missing last time. So you have a season mode and uh, a few extra little themes for the uh, customization. Obviously, you have the uh, Greg Norman Golf Club designer, and uh, it plays out very much the same as it did last year. So in the golf club, uh, there's not much customization options when it comes to your character, and there isn't really a progression sense throughout the game. Sadly, it is very much a rinse and repeat until you perfect uh, how you play the golf that makes the game what it is. And uh, this can be kind of challenging for players and unnerving, but otherwise it's actually pretty decent. Now, the controls are very simple. You pull the analog stick back, and the further you pull it back, the uh, further your stick will go back, and you push it forward. And the game will then calculate the power that you've put into the swing, and uh, that will then generate how far your ball will go. And to be honest, it's a really neat little feature. If you want to tilt the ball to the right, you'll push the analog stick to the right. If you want to tilt it to the left, push the analog stick to the left when you're uh, pushing forward. And uh, it, this works really, really well, and the game definitely steps into simulation ground rather than just a standard arcade game. So beyond this, we've also got the Greg Norman course designer, which is really the maker of the game, because uh, it actually gives you a host of options to choose from in which you can design your course. Um, bar playing the season mode, which will take you a fair few hours to finish, the uh, Greg Norman course designer will take you much, much longer, as you'll be in there investing time and uh, putting courses together. And uh, this game really does have a huge social aspect in that sense, because as soon as you've uh, finished designing a course, you can just upload it and friends and players from around the world can play it and compete for their best times. So the game's pretty solid, to be honest with you. Graphically, it's nothing uh, spectacular. It looks decent, but it doesn't look overly fantastic. And there's definitely frame rate issues and bugs there as well. But what you do get is a great simulation golf game, and it is on par, if not slightly better in the simulation category than Tiger Woods ever was, and to be honest, um, it is really fun to play. There are a few technical hitches, like I said uh, a minute ago with the uh, screen tearing and the bugs, and uh, the main one really that draws you out of the experience is just when the commentary sort of stutters. But other than that, the game is pretty solid to play. So overall, this game gets a 7 out of 10. If you want to check out the written review, head over to GamerHeadlines.com, as that will be posted there shortly, and uh, that will give you more of an insight of what I thought of the game. But overall, it's a fantastic title, and definitely recommended for golf lovers and sports lovers alike. As always, like, comment, and subscribe, and I shall see you soon with another review, guys. Cheers.